So particularly since the pandemic, um, but actually a little bit before there with, uh, with the intensification of Russia-China-US Ch um, strategic competition, there's been a focus on, uh, on economic security. And in the initial days, that was around technology, so to semiconductors, uh, AI, and, and so on. But what the pandemic has shown is that um, the definition of economic security has just, has just ballooned, and it includes things like health and uh, in the environment and so on, areas that before were not, so, uh, were not seen so much as part of uh, national security, but now, of course, they are. And I think one of the, um, the things that business, particularly MNCs, need to really take on board is that they could be caught up in economic security legislation, uh, become a, uh, have their business seen as a sort of na uh, as a key component of national security, without even knowing it or without even being aware of the uh, of the implications of this. So I think the sort of the, the drift towards economic security as a pro policy priority uh, in, in in big countries, big in, the, in the advanced economies in particular, that um, is important for business to keep track of. It means as well that business and government, that relationship will need to be uh, much closer. It will need to change. It means that business will need to keep an eye on, uh, a very much closer eye on government policy. Uh, it, it, perhaps in trying to sort of preempt, get in, get ahead of um, what governments might think in terms of uh, economic security. But it also means government needs to know more, learn more about uh, about business. Uh, because ma many in government, I would, I would hazard a good guess to have no idea about supply chains, no idea about uh, margins and all, and all of that. So this relationship, this redefining of relationship, I think will be a key part of, uh, of, um, of sort of the new era um, over the rest of the decade.